this is a little weird because right now you are just seeing a table, but um, it kind of seemed like a logical way to do this now. I don't know. If, I'll see if I like it. If not, I'll go back to the other way. Otherwise, I'm going to keep it up. But it's time for a soapbox. Okay, focus on the, uh, focus on the soapbox. Oh, it just does not want to do. Oh, it totally does not want to focus. Close enough. It is the old Hollywood fall 2015 soapbox. And it just does not want to focus on it. And I don't know why. There we go. There we go. Old Hollywood Fall 2015 soapbox. Alright. So, let's open it up. Um, it's from Fortune Cookie Soap. And as per usual, I gotta go hunting for some scissors. Uh, what about these? What do you think? Hmm, they don't open any further than that because they're these weird ones. So I don't think those are gonna fly. But I'll keep them handy just in case I get desperate. I guess let's try my tried and true method of a uh, envelope jabby thing. I don't even know what those are called. What are they? Openers? Letter opener. A letter opener. There we go. That's the term. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's very much stuck in there. See what we got. Do I need to? I need to. Let me adjust this camera a little. All right, that's that's a little bit better. Just a, a little bit better. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, 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 oh! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Okay, we've got the old Hollywood soapbox. Welcome to the fall 2015 soapbox. It says. Okay. So now let's go over this. Um, we've got the card that comes with it that tells us. And because I'm extremely OCD, we're going to go from the top to the bottom. Um, the first thing is the Fortune Cookie Soap, their namesake. And it looks like the scent for this one is called Dress to Kill. Dribbles of mulled red wine swirled with dark rich vanilla and cut apples and a dusting of spice. Okay. That sounds pretty good, and this must be it right here. Oh, little red pennies. Okay. Come on. Alright. So it's uh, gold and very shimmery. Almost more of a bronze with a gold shimmer. And it's got the little fortune cookie inside. Stella, hey Stella, from A Streetcar Named Desire, 1951. All of them have different little movie quotes from classic films in there. And let's have a sniff. What did I say this was again? Mulled red wine, dark rich vanilla, and cut apples and spices. Okay, yeah. I guess I, I get a lot of the vanilla, not a whole lot of the apples, um, and definitely the spices and maybe the mulled red wine. But it's very nice, very fall. I like it. Okay, next is the Glitz and Glamour OCD Hand Sanitizer. Uh, put it on classy, take it off trashy. This says it smells like wet moss, polished woods, and creamy vanilla. That almost sounds a little bit like the one they had last year at the Shiz. So hopefully I will really like it. We've got it right here. And it's a same color about just about as the... Um, cookie. It's kind of a dark orange, like a burnt pumpkin color, even though there's no pumpkin in it. Um, or maybe, you know, maybe the color of fire, you know? And then uh, it's got like little bits of gold mica throughout it. Okay. Of course, with as with all hand sanitizers, my first overwhelming scent is, um, alcohol. And not the good kind either. It's a little bit in the cap. I'm just gonna smear it on my hand here and see. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, this is very woody. Oh, it's so very fall too. I really like it. It does remind me a lot of the shiz. 
It's different though, but it is gorgeous. Oh, I just spotted something in my box here. Hold on, I'll fish it out. Because I tipped my head and I spotted it. Look, 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 look. It's a pearl. Oh, it's just a bead, but still. I love that they put little trinkets in their boxes. All right, next is Tommy Guns and Baseball Bats Whipped Cream. Hey, that's not a violin. Famous last words. Oh, Grandma's hot apple pie dusted with freshly shaved cinnamon, nutmeg, warm brown sugar, topped with rich, creamy marshmallow fluff. I love the sound of that. And their whipped creams are awesome. This is it right here. It's a strange color. I don't even know what to call that. It's like if cement had a green tint to it. And it's a little um, a little warm because it's warm here, clearly. And so it's a little condensated looking a little bit at the edges. Comes out like this. It's very smooth. Oh, it does smell like apple pie too. Not, not so much the apples as much as the pie crust. It smells like pie crust. And, um, it smells like the, I guess, the cinnamon and a little bit, the marshmallow fluff. I'm really kind of picking up on that at the end. Next is Scandal Bath Powder. Uh, creaking woods, woodwind blown leaves, bleh, uh, and twisted rose thorns. That sounds very good. It sounds a lot like the hand sanitizer and a lot like the shiz was last year. And this is it right here in this little baggie. Um, it's not glittery. It just has some residual glitter from other stuff in the box on it. That's what I was kind of examining here. It's just a plain old, like a milk bath almost, powder. There we go. Hmm. This does have the same kind of woody scent, um, a very much a fall scent. I hate to use this word because it doesn't seem at all tempting, but um, like a decaying scent that I like. Um, but it also has a floral undertone. I'm guessing that that's the rose thorns, so-called rose thorns. Okay, next is uh, pearls and girls. A little pearl. A perfume oil. Uh, diamonds are a girl's best friend, but he always wants to give me a pearl necklace. Really? Fortune cookie soap? You made me just say that? Mm, you're mean. Crushed and distilled vanilla creeping with wild jasmine and a splash of juicy pear. That sounds pretty good. Um, and it's coming in this little container, it shows. And it's right over here. So mine's a purple one. And it's this cute little purse atomizer thing. So let's... Oh, a lot comes out, just FYI. A lot comes out. See it? See it? See it? See it? Ooh, a lot. And it is very much still an oil. It's not like a, a mist or spray. And it does smell good. Once again, it seems like any time they use vanilla, vanilla is overwhelming. But, um... I do get the, the jasmine is also overwhelming in this one. The pear is just a splash. It really is. The next one is Hollywood Dream Shampoo Bar. Fall is in the hair. Brown sugar dusted graham crackers. Churned apple butter. Nuts and hint of maple. Oh, that sounds delicious. And that's this little guy. Usually their shampoo bars, I think, are a little bit bigger than this. Um, like this. I've got one that's a uh, shampoo and conditioner combo. So I don't know about the plain shampoo bars, but they're like yay big. But this is a uh, little sample size. How do I get into it? Right there. Oh, they put the sticker on it. I didn't want to ruin the sticker, but I will. Ugh. Okay. Immediately, as soon as I opened it, before I even lifted it, I smelled the graham cracker. I do smell, oh, oh, that's so good. Oh. 
I definitely the graham cracker and the maple I smell for sure uh, the apple butter is a little lighter of a scent but man that graham cracker really hits you in the face it doesn't let go all right next okay. American royalty pomade uh, rose milk thick honey and warming tobacco blossom wrapped with caramel and notes of mandarin and I've never I'm not sure if this is a new product for them but I've never even seen it on their website before. Oh, it's sealed. Look at that. It's sealed. I, you probably can't see it because it's clear. But you'll, you'll see it in a second when I pull it off. See? It's sealed. That's a good thing. Oh, my. And this is an adorable little tin, too, that it's in. If I could only get it open. There we go. All right. Oh, that's, that's good. There's something about the, I think it's the tobacco blossom that really is good. And then I guess I, I can kind of smell the caramel and then it's just a, you know, pomade. You take it off onto your hands like this and you put it in your hair and you use it to style it. I'm not going to do it right now because it's almost the end of the day and that would be a waste. Last one is this. Your famous wax tart, uh, warm amber, wild orchid, fluttering white cotton, and sun-dried herbs. And this is one of those things you put into your um, burner, you know, with a tea light under it. Or if you um, have Scentsy, you can use one of those. I actually am a Scentsy dealer, so I have plenty of Scentsy things around the house. So I don't know. I'll try this just to compare. But uh, it already looks extremely messy with that glitter. So I'm not even sure. Ooh, it smells good though. What is that? I don't know. Maybe the cotton? There's something in it that smells very delicious. So that is quite interesting. Alright. And that is it. All that's left is the little red worms. Nothing else in there. Oh, hey, wait. No, there is another pearl. Haha, -ha, too. Is that it? Now double check now. Yep, that's it. So that ends the box. Uh, let me put all the stuff back into it and recap. We've got our two little treats of pearls. We've got the wax tart in the scent famous, very smelly good. We've got American Royalty Pomade. Yeah, right there. We've got uh, the Hollywood Dreams Shampoo Bar. We've got the Pearls and Girls perfume oil in this cute little purse diffuser atomizer thing. We've got the Scandal the bath powder. We've got the Tommy Guns and Baseball Bats whipped cream. The Glitz and Glamour OCD hand sanitizer. And of course, the Dressed to Kill fortune cookies. So, let's put this over here. Put this over here. And this here. There we go. Good to go. Alright. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Adios.